New smartphones come out every day, but so many of them share at least one metric, a 12 megapixel camera sensor, on the main setup anyway. But why is this? Hey guys, my name's Ryan Thomas for Failtech, and this is why we use 12 megapixel camera sensors in our 2018 smartphones. To start with, it makes the most sense to optimize the photography hardware on our phones, and most people will be viewing the media taken on our phones on their phones. And even if we play devil's advocate and say that everyone has an XZ2 Premium with a UHD display, look at how that compares to a 12 megapixel image. It's unreasonably large, but still gives enough wiggle room for cropping and recomposing after. So, with UHD in mind, I'd like to next mention video, another important factor in today's smartphones. The same scaling really applies here, although the chipset is very much in charge of which resolutions you can shoot. Having a large sensor is important, as you can't shoot UHD video, just shy of 8.3 megapixels, on an 8 megapixel sensor. It's impossible. 12 megapixel seems to be optimum, with plenty of space on the sensor for UHD video. Next up, storage space. We never seem to have enough room on our phones, and that is largely in part due to the amount of photos we take. So 12 megapixels, being 25% smaller than 16 megapixels, allows us to save a good amount of space compared to 16 and 20 megapixel images, though image format does come into play here also. Pixel size is very important, as we want to get as large a pixel as we can in every smartphone camera. This is very much due to the fact that the average smartphone camera sensor is a fraction of the size of a full frame camera sensor, and the size of each pixel directly translates to how much light said sensor can input. In short, the larger the pixel, the better the camera is in low light, which for a smartphone camera is often its Achilles heel. 12 megapixel means that we have a sharp enough image but allows each pixel to be significantly bigger and allow more light than a smaller sensor with a larger megapixel count. And on the subject of light, the camera lens is crucially involved with this, so a wider aperture like f1.6 or f1.8 is going to let a lot more light in than say f2.4. Let's suppose a 12 megapixel sensor with f1.6 aperture is being compared to a 20 megapixel sensor with f2.4 aperture. The former is going to win in low light as long as the sensor size and processing are the same in a controlled environment. And something that Google has shown is, without a doubt, the most important aspect of a camera, computational photography, is becoming more and more mainstream. And this is the idea that the system on a chip, and sometimes even more specialized hardware on your device, will scan the image and determine it may need sharpening here, brightening there, or cropping slightly to allow for electronic image stabilization. This isn't something you usually see on a spec sheet, but it makes a big difference to the result images. And it's a lot easier to work on an engineer when the sensors in your phone stay the same size. For example, the Pixel 2 and Pixel 3 have pretty much the same spec sensor in almost every single way. And because we know that the megapixel price is dead, it allows companies to focus more on important aspects like using the computational power of your phone, or even the company's servers to make the final image better. We only have a finite amount of space in our smartphone, and something like a camera, or two in a lot of cases, just takes up more space where the battery or headphone jack could be. So rounding out, 12 megapixel balances pixel size with file size, with sensor size, with video resolution, and also with image quality. And I'd just like to point out that nine of the top 10 DxO Mark scorers sport a main 12 megapixel sensor. So the industry knows that the megapixel count makes a minimal difference up to a certain point. And that's it from me guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do like or dislike or comment and subscribe if you're new around here to never miss a video like this one. I want to give a massive shout out to my patrons and I urge you to go and follow me on Patreon if you can because it really does help out the videos. My patrons are awesome. Thank you so much. Also, please do check out my social media and Discord. Links will be in the video description. As always, my name is Ryan Thomas with Failtech and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.